Hey guys, this is my 2015 F-250 Power Stroke and today we're going to be going over this Easy Link installation and we're going to be talking about a couple pros and cons. I also have it mixed with an iPad dash so we'll show you how to go ahead and get it installed now. Depending on what truck you have is the connector that you'll use here. I've got this piece plugged into this OBD2 port and then I've got it ran up here so that I can have easy access to it right here. But super simple, this just comes out plug this in and then you're gonna get your mount over here and you'll plug it in just like so and then you'll see these uh, red and blue lights come on that means that it's uh, trying to get a signal from this to your truck as soon as those go away we're good to go so that's the installation super simple okay guys now that we've got that installed after that super simple process we're gonna actually move over to the auto agent app you can download this on Apple, Android, or uh, any iOS software. And this is how I use, choose to use mine. So this is my iPad dash. You can do this, like I said, on your phone. You can get mounts that go up here on the dash or anywhere up in your window as well. Uh, I chose to do this because I like the looks of it. And I like to watch YouTube while I drive. So you come into here and here's your auto agent app. And it's gonna say connecting. So the first thing that you actually have to do here is you're gonna go to your settings and you're gonna connect it with Wi-Fi. So you're gonna go here and it's gonna be the name of your easy link, which you can find on the back here. That's how I find the YouTube name right there. Come up here and then we're gonna connect those and then we'll move over to the app here. <clears throat> so after this pulls up here, this is gonna be your gauge dashboard. But the first thing that you're gonna do, when you first open, you're gonna get a little bit of a different screen. So what I have here is it's connected to my truck, so then it has my VIN number in my truck, and then the technician that is responsible for updating my tune. So you're gonna have to buy a tune pack with this. I choose to go through Tyrant Diesel, and the cool thing about this tuner, and actually why I switch, is I like to switch trucks a lot, and so I actually got this one because I can take this and it's not synced with my truck. So it can be tuned to this truck and I can actually take it and tune another truck and plug it in and as many of those as I want. And with my Can-Am as well, it'll actually plug Let's in. Let's go over just some basics in the, uh, in the app here in the Auto Agent. This is kind of what's gonna be your handheld tuner. That's the cool thing about it being on your phone. You don't have to have a cord that's hanging out. And if you don't wanna mess with any of this stuff and if having your gauges up is not important to you, which to me it is, especially when I'm pulling a big load like my camper and toy hauler, uh, I want to have my gauges up here, but you can actually unplug this and get it out of the way after the tuners after the tune is uploaded. You can install them. Um, coming down to data logs here, if you need to send anything in, you can hit this record right here, and it's gonna it's gonna record the data from how your truck is running, and you can actually send that to your agent that's responsible for your tuning. So that's how you do data logs there. I'm gonna stop that, uh, discard because we don't need to run any here vehicle detail so if you change your tire size you can change it here your speedometer you can also change with your tire size and your TPMS you can either turn that off or adjust it the reason why you would want to ever adjust it is I I run a 20,000 pound camper and when I have my camper on the back even with my bags full I want my tires to kind of absorb some of that shock as well and so I'll air down my tires to about 65 psi instead of 80 so that way I get a little bit better ride and that's why you'd want to ever do that the, the next cool thing that you can do here is this uh, diagnostics and you can actually set your TPMS, you can reset your whole computer in your truck and you can set the tire size. And then here you can have other vehicles. So like I said before, I could unclip this and take it and hook it to my Can-Am. My Can-Am would show up right here with the VIN number and everything. And then when I plug it in, it would switch over. And then if I wanted to see any of my vehicles, it would go to there. The other cool thing that you have here is you can read all your trouble codes and you can clear codes as well. Unless you're driving on Utah highways, then I don't recommend it. But you can do everything here. You can see all your trouble codes and you can actually read this while you're driving. That's one cool thing I like about this uh, platform as well. And you can actually chat here with your agent as well. So if my agent was available, I could go in and type a message. Hey, my truck is doing this. Or hey, I just sent you a data log. Is there any way that you could go over it and tell me uh, why my truck's doing this? Or you know, if he has any questions or if you wanna run a diagnostic and he wants to see a little bit more what's going on then you can see firsthand and you can connect that to Wi-Fi. Or if you have internet on your phone, you can just email it straight from your phone or your iPad here. So that's kinda of cool as well. And I don't know what this last thing is. So anyway, that's kind of a basic rundown of uh, 
what this auto agent platform is and you can go here too and you can run it in graph so while you're driving actually say you're going up a hill you can record while you're going up a hill and see exact, exactly how you're running engine coolant temp and you can set all these to whatever you want this is a pretty cool system they've got here I really like it I really don't have any complaints about the whole platform the uh, really the only con that I would say is the downside of it the the tuner itself is gonna be about 500 bucks and then if you want to tune for it you know most tuners are gonna run 250 to 450 for a single tune and then for a pack you're gonna be about 599 to 799 so it's kind of my installation video here we'll do a couple exhaust clips for you guys today uh, we'll run on the big smoke tune and we'll kind of play around in the snow a little bit uh, here we go thanks for watching